Welcome. How are you doing today? Guess the fuck what? Onision made an apology video. Oh my god. Yeah, for years. People just talked about him constantly because if you put his name in the title, it would get views. You could be a nobody and you would get subscribers and views if you put his name in the title. And then there are entire channels that like dedicated themselves to only talking about Onision because that's where all the views came from and if they tried to talk about anyone else it didn't work and so they would start doing this thing where they would call somebody worse than Onision or like the next Onision or Diet Onision like just to keep Onision's name in the title they would just draw some comparisons and then everybody shut the fuck up because uh, Chris Hansen stepped in, he ruined everything, we realized it all fell apart. And then when the uh, Discovery Plus series about Onision came out, well, that, that's so weird to me. It's a true crime style series, but there's no crime. It's just a whole lot of internet bad. But so once in a while, I check in to see what he's doing, because once his entire, ch like he got kicked out of the YouTube partner program, and because his reputation was so bad, like, he got reported repeatedly to every other income stream that he had. And those websites and services didn't want to deal with it, so they just departnered him on everything. Okay, so he told YouTube goodbye, since I can't make money here anymore, I'm not going to post anything. And he didn't do that. He's too in the habit of doing it. I don't think he knows what else to do with his life. Which is really weird to keep showing up for a job that doesn't pay you anymore, like Milton from Office Space. I, I still haven't received my paycheck and he took my stapler. But I mean, I guess maybe he genuinely is passionate about it. I wouldn't know. But he got his hands on that report that came out. And he's throwing a fit about it. He's saying the police proved proved innocent by the FBI and the police, which is not what happened. No, nothing was proven either way. There was no, nothing to prove. Because the report just says, yeah, there was no evidence of a crime. All of these people called in. We couldn't find any victims. That's it. So I don't even know if he even read the entire report because his, his perception of it is like highly inaccurate. But the guy really doesn't know anything about the law at all but recently he came out with an apology video and I mean he's still him say his same exact self in it you know with the way he talks and perceives the world and the way he uses language but he does say you know that it was really wrong of him to drag and trash all of these people who used to be like his friends and former partners and like exes and stuff how horrible it was what he did to them and they thought you know like that was not a healthy thing to do and that's a very immature thing to do and it's you know it, you're never going to be the bigger person when you treat someone you used to care about in such a fashion and even though he's like even though they did this they did that they did this and the third well that's the fourth but he does like own up to like his reaction to it the behavior being bad and I was like whoa and he also said like I guess I'm gonna try to grow up now and I was like oh shit this is wild but then I realized exactly what it is it's because now that he has a full fucking police report saying we got these phone calls from concerned people on the internet never found any vic victims no evidence of a crime he can take that to fucking mommy Google and say hey you let me back into the partner program now? So, I found that recently, um, Real Stream News had Onision on his show for a live interview. And one, here's how I know the man doesn't know a fucking thing about law, is because recently, I guess for relevancy, Onision has started telling everybody that he's gonna sue them. He even sent one of these, like, fake legal letters to Trisha fucking Paytas. Same with Trisha Paytas recently. She literally... Oh, she's anti she, now, right? He made a video saying Onis... Like, he's, su he's suing everyone. Which, and by that, he's he's got an email address called onisionsmanager at gmail.com. <laughs> and he's, like, just copying and pasting the same garbage nonsense to everyone. Just trying to intimidate them into, like, taking back everything they've said or making videos stating that he's 
for like proclaiming his innocence. He sent one of these emails to Blair White. But on his interview with Real Stream News, Onision does brag. He's like, every other YouTuber would have made an apology video by now. But like, I knew I wasn't wrong. So, and this is what has happened to me because I didn't apologize. And it's like, you lost your entire career. Maybe you should have fucking sucked it up, Buttercup, and made several apology videos. That's my opinion! But he had to lose all of his income streams before he would even try to look inward and go, oh shoot, maybe I have handled things incorrectly. What a jackass. But this is how I know he knows absolutely nothing about law. Because I remember back in the day I was friends with a girl that he dated briefly. And when they broke up, he sent all of his following to harass her. And she was laughing about it. She was making fun of him, calling him the banana man. And he kept saying that he was gonna sue her for slander. And she was just like, Cut! okay, no you're not. But on the interview, Real Stream News asks him like, Have you thought about like uh, suing Discovery or Chris Hansen or something like that? And I'll put the clip in. The moment you start paying for a lawyer, you're already suing yourself. You're just gambling. Yeah, well, I've, you're just, I've... You're just saying, well, I don't know if I'm going to win, but here's my money that I'm going to set on fire. Yeah, well... So I'm kind of I'm kind of looking for some kind of, like, hey, this was a crime that was committed against an uh, innocent person. Because there's justice in America, we're going to represent this person and get the, the payment from the company that wronged them. That dumbass is never going to sue anyone a day in his life because he thinks he can do everything by himself and you fucking can't. You need legal representation and I highly fucking doubt there's a single fucking attorney in the world who wants to do pro bono work for Onision. He thinks that paying legal counsel for their time is throwing money away. He's so dim. But he did make an apology video. Gosh, that's a weird one. He also has said, he, and he has said this before, I think like sometime in 2019 or 2020, he said he was going to take his face off of the internet. And he started making like videos using this weird CGI version of himself. But ultimately like he stopped doing that and went to using his face again. But also like, in his apology video, he says again, like, I'm not going to put my face on the internet anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna, I guess, get out of here. I'll probably just do voiceovers. He has, uh, uh, how, how many times do we think he's announced his departure? But it is weird, you know, looking at it from the perspective of everything that we know now. I do feel a little bit bad for him because I don't, I don't know that I think he deserved to lose all of his income streams. I think his, his career was steadily dying because his behavior had been just exposed beyond belief. And his channel was dying because he hadn't grown, he hadn't apologized, he hadn't changed. He was keeping up with the same bullshit behavior year after year after year. His career was dying on its own. He said in the interview that the only reason that he has not killed himself, because he really feels like there's no fucking reason to live, is because he has people that he's responsible for. His children. And the way he talks about it, I did feel bad for them. Because he said, like, it, it sounded genuine. I'm surprised he hasn't killed himself. I can't believe I'm actually starting to feel bad for that man. He's horrible. Anyway. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, Anna Campbell popped up on uh, in Trisha Paytas's comments section and tried to threaten her with legal action. Oh my god, we can talk about that later. But, ooh, that's hilarious. So, I want to thank you for listening. I feel like forgiveness is very important, so I want you to forgive yourself.